Intermission. Mm. And, uh, I'm going to pause it for a quick second. There was an extra scene on the last episode that I, I did not record. But I want to, like... I want to, you know... Uh, tell you, just get you through the details and whatnot. So, basically... The person, Beard, that we were playing as last time... There was a scene with him in his shop. And then, I'm guessing... After talking for a little bit... His shop gets blown up. So, he basically dies. Just to get you caught up on what's going on. So, yeah. Sorry guys. Beard dies. Anyway. Back to the game. Hello, Evan speaking. Hi, this is... You spoke to my mother. She told me to call you, said you wanted to talk. It's about the mask maniac, right? Right. I didn't think you would call, to be honest. Well, if you got the time, I'd love to hear your story. I've got time, alright, but it, uh, it'll cost you. You see, I need a plane ticket. I know it's a lot to ask for. But I'm sure it will be worth your while. Do we have a deal? Well, I can't promise you anything, but... If your story's half as good as you say, then... I'll see what I can do, okay? Fair enough. So, where do you want me to begin? Take it from the start. I want to get the full picture. Alright. Well, it all started with these strange messages on my phone. At first, they were pretty straight. Asking me to do things. Small things, like calling random numbers, leaving cryptic messages. Going around town, painting these marks at certain points. Marks? Yeah, circle with three lines across. You mean the Hotline Miami logo? Anyway, I didn't do what they told me to. Figured it was all a prank. After a while, the messages started getting threatening. A few days passed, then one morning, I woke up to find my car torched. And... There was this message on my machine saying I better do what I was told. Or bad things would happen. Jeez. Well, that's eerie as hell. Alright, well, I guess we're playing as the uh, narrator then. The person who was narrating the story. For the detective, I mean. Um, okay. You got one new message. Beep! Hi, this is Suzanne from Miami Funeral Service. We got an appointment scheduled with you today. For the funeral of Rosa Berg, come whenever you like. We're open all day. Our office is on Northeast 139th Street. Click! Alright. And there's, there's the torched car that I was talking about. Oh, boy.
Alright. Seventeenth scene. First blood. Mmm. <laughs> Time to get a taste of what it feels like to be a mass murdering psychopath! Oh. Crap. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Crap. Okay. Bam, bam. Crap. That's, I meant to get the crowbar. Alright, well, that works too, I guess. Are one of you guys still alive? Yes. Alright. Not that. Um, come on. Get up. Yo. Crap. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Boom. Bam. Oh, come on. Last second, too. Gotcha. And... Hello, guys. Wanna party? Wanna brawl? I'm gonna destroy this TV, because I love destroying TVs. You wanna have a party? You wanna party already? Come on, let's get down! Let's get down! Oh! Ha ha! Let's get down, boy! Ha! <laughs> I'm actually gonna grab this real quick. Uh... Bam! 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 Yo, what up? All right, good. Uh, mm. Mm. Cra How did that actually get me? Hold on, hold on. Whew. That's close. Um. Yeah, why not? Boom. You like guns? Well, sh of course you guys do. You're, like, filled to the brim with guns. Man, oh man. Makes you forget how extremely violent this game is. Or not. I mean, not necessarily, but... Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not even sure where I'm going with this. So that was a quick level. <laughs> that was a pretty quick level. Let's see how we did. We did a little bit better. Not too good, but a little bit better. We got a C plus. I'll take it.
Mom, what are you doing down here? I was hungry, so I decided to have a snack. I can't... I can take care of myself, you know? You don't have to worry about me so much. You know, the doctor told you not to move around too much. I don't care what the doctor said. I'm not dead yet. I've still got the fight left in me. Jeez, that lady is determined! <laughs> you go! <girl. laughs> uh, Alright, April 10th. Ooh. I recognize that day. Mom, I have to head out for a while. Oh, is it something urgent? <laughs> Sorry. I was hoping you would give me a bath. I'm feeling a bit cold. Sorry, Mom. I'll help you with the bath as soon as I get home, okay? I see. Well, where are you going then? Is it another job interview? I'm sure you'll get it this time. Don't get your hopes up, Mom. Finding work ain't easy. You're such a bright young man. You're sure missing out. Don't worry, you'll find something eventually. Yeah, well, I gotta go. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? You run along now, dear. You don't want to be late. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. You got one message. Beep. Hello, this is Andrew from Pack uh, from Package Express Shipping. You got some goods to deliver at Northeast 144th Street at 8 p.m. The shipment may be fragile, so make sure to handle the package ca packages carefully. Don't be late, and don't forget to wear your uniform. Click. Uh, another murder job. Alright. Should have actually went up paper a bit, you know? I really need to explore more. There could be like secrets or whatever I'm missing. Aww. Because the father died. That's why there's like rose, uh, roses on there, on the bed. Yeesh. Tough life. Tough life indeed, wow. Eighteenth scene. Demolition. Alright, are we gonna blow stuff up? I don't think so. Dang! Dang! Now that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> A fire! <gasps> Hold on. Yes! Blood everywhere! Uh oh. Thankfully, it's a silencer. Thankfully, most of these things are silent. Thankfully, I'm not dead. But I'm about to be. In a second here. Maybe. Who knows? Possibly. Keep your head on the ground!
I do like some fire axes, though, so I'm gonna use it. Yo. Hello. Hi. Oop. You really suck. <laughs> You know what, I really feel like I need to have, uh, this. Hit that. And do a little of this. It's just business. Okay? It's just business! I need to do what these guys say, or else I'm in BIG TROUBLE! You see what I mean? It's just business. You know, I'm gonna keep this Far Axe, because I haven't seen them. I haven't seen much of these in other levels, so... I'm gonna keep this as a souvenir. I honestly feel like I should've actually... I think it wanted me to actually use this for the whole level for some achievement or whatever. So that... Wow. <laughs> That was a fairly short episode. Because I usually do like two levels per episode and this one was like extremely short. Like, holy crap, man. And I've only died like, what, just a few, few dozen times? Yeah, I still got a good score, why not? Alright, uh, I mean that first part during the second, uh, level. Man, I aced it. I aced that stuff right there. I didn't even die at all. Freaking James Bond that stuff. Maybe. And that's where we're gonna end this episode at. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of these episodes, consider subscribing, leaving a like, adding a comment if you want to, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day!